Welcome to Yellow Tunnel and Bar Chart. My name is Val Carpel. I'm CEO and founder of Yellow Tunnel. And today I'd like to go over how to trade bullish call spreads using Bar Chart uh, analytics and data. For those of you who are new to Yellow Tunnel or Bar Chart, this is my brief uh, bio. I was executive vice president, head of technology at Options Express from its inception through 2007. Options Express was an online broker dealer acquired by Charles Schwab. Um, at some point, the company was worth over $2 billion. I've uh, been trading my own money over 15 years, and one of the main difference uh, between Yellow Tunnel and other similar sites is that uh, we build a lot of analytics using neural networks and artificial intelligence, and everything we do is based on the output of our models. Since I'm going to go through a bar chart data to help determine what strike price to select and what uh, option spreads to trade, uh, it's very important to look at the disclosures. And you can always pause the screen if you need more time to the disclosures, but the bottom line, I'm showing you how to construct, uh, explaining you how to build uh, debit spreads, uh, bullish debit spreads for informational purposes only. Uh, before making any trading decision, please consult your financial advisor. And you can always pause the screen if you need more time to read the disclosures. All right, um, so let's talk about cold spreads. So the reason cold spreads are popular is that one of the reasons is that when you buy a call, especially if it's out of the money, majority of the time, uh, the option expires worthless, right? Because if you look at the probability of success, um, the stock has to move to the strike price and beyond, right? So to mitigate and reduce your cost basis, and every time you reduce your cost basis, you increase your probability of success. And the way you do this is you sell a call against your long call, and that's the debit spread. So instead of just doing a single call, think about it as what are some of the creative ways I can reduce my cost basis? One way to do it is selling, you know, with a higher strike uh, out of the money call. Usually executed when general feeling toward an asset is positive, right? You're expressing your bullish bias, but you are long and short the market at the same time, or you long and short the underlying asset at the same time. So you're lowering, you're lowering your risk. You are lowering the reward because you now have an upside where if the stock moves beyond that uh, short call that you're selling, then um, you're not going to have an additional uh, benefit. So you're reducing your cost basis, but you're limiting your upside. And you're limiting your requirements, right? Because you are reducing your cost basis, you're limiting your margin requirements. Today gives up some of the upside potential in exchange for chance to recover premium, right? The structure of debit spread by definition is higher probability of success than if you would just trade a single calls. So how do you set up a trade? So usually you buy in the money call option, right? Or near the money call options. Usually Delta 70, Delta 80, and you sell an out of the money call with a higher strike price. And this way you're able to reduce your cost basis. Some people buying in the money option spreads, and I'll actually gonna go over that example too, but both are pretty popular. Uh, use the same underlying asset, right? So you say training the same stock, uh, and you look at the same expiration date. Expiration date selection varies on, based on your opinion. I use it a lot for earnings. I'm gonna go through a specific example. Um, and very popular weekly options. So you trade options that expire upcoming Friday or a week after. If you are more of a momentum trader, longer term trader, and you wanna uh, express your uh, directional bias, then you would use monthly expiration and uh, Usually it's 50 days till expiration. I mean, there are some leaps, people trading leaps, but that's the, probably the most common strategy. Strike price selection is probably the hardest part in debit spreads. And I'm gonna use bar chart data shortly to show you how you can use uh, bar chart analytics to determine how to construct your debit spread and find the right strike price. So we'll talk about chart price selection shortly. We talked about expiration months, weekly versus monthly. Maximum loss is at point A, right? So on your X axis, I have a stock price selection. Stock XYZ is trading at $100, right? 
you can buy a hundred or a 90 star 90 stripe that's point a and then you can sell out of the money let's say 110 right so if a stock is trading under 100 you can buy 100 and sell 110 that's probably the most common strategy very popular um, the maximum loss if the stock never moves beyond 100 right because you're paying a debit spread you're paying a debit and if it's below a then you that's your maximum loss if you reach the short strike 110 right you go from 100 to 110 that's your maximum gain anything beyond 110 anything beyond point b and you're limiting your gains so again directional trade uh return on capital you need to understand the return on capital and how much risk you're taking and again in terms of profit and loss this line here basically is the difference between single call versus debit call spread right because you're limiting your upside but you're reducing your cost basis so you pay cost of the long lag in the money that's strike a 100 and you earn proceeds here right you sell in the second leg the short call was the highest strike so total trading cost is the difference between the amount you paid for the long leg and premium you collected for the short leg maximum gain is the difference in strike prices the difference between point a and b 110 minus 110 dollars and the debit you paid you know let's say this spread costs you two dollars three dollars so it'll be the difference in strikes minus the debit you have paid and maximum loss is the original debit the beauty of these spreads is that if you're bullish on the market or you're bullish on the stock you can risk uh you know half a percent of your of the underlying stock maybe 30 basis points depends how you build your debit spread and this is the maximum loss it's very popular during earnings right because you can risk little and you can have these asymmetrical returns if the stock does move in the direction that you selected all right so let's take a look at the bar chart data and see how our friends at bar chart can help you so looking at meta just announced earnings today april 24th as you can see you can see the most important in the trading options is looking at implied volatility and usually implied volatility goes up april 15th to april 4th to almost maximum right before the earnings because the uncertainty is the highest people not sure is it going up 20 percent meta or is it going down 20 percent meta so implied volatility goes up that means the premium of the options go up and reach its maximum level and one of the pop and then you have to make a decision based on that implied volatility rank because it's the highest that it's been in in the past quarter right going up to the earnings and you know it's going to collapse right after the earnings you want to decide if you want to be long volatility or short volatility and that is driven a lot by um put and call ratio of open interest right if most people are buying calls and you have a call skew right risk reversals is a popular strategy people selling puts and buying calls you have to be careful right because if a lot of people selling puts uh and matter has negative earnings then the stock can sell off tremendously and that's what you actually see here that's down 15 percent you know bit on the bottom line bit on the top line but because there was a, such a big position of the short puts out of the money puts or deep in the money calls that because of the dana effect the stock moves so i would pay attention to put in call ratio open interest if you see more calls being bought than puts that could be an issue that then you might want to be long volatility and debit spread is the perfect example right where you want if you see a big uh, discrepancy where most people buy on calls sometimes when you buy debit call spread you can also buy debit put spread in case you know instead of going up stock is going down in this example so you can go to a bar chart under bull call and debit spread and in terms of strike price selection i wanted to find which strikes have very large open interest right this is a stock that's trading you know at 400 level 30,000 contracts somebody bought a 30,000 more than 30,000 contracts in one expiration month and you can see here 465 strike 465 strike has more than 40,000 open interest which is very large usually it's 1,000 2,000 but the 40,000 open interest means that there will be a, this second derivative effect van and sharp i'm not going to dive in what that means now but think about is that high open interest at certain strike price can act as a repellent or a magnet when you have a, such a large concentration at 465 
if this is a uh, call queue and people buying calls or selling puts in very large numbers, it could act as a repellent. And that's what we've seen here in Meta that any negative news in the stock right now is trading at 420, right? 10% actually below 465 strike that somebody bought. So you can use these scanners to find these high open interest and construct a debit spread. I would pay attention if you're buying 465 calls, somebody bought 40,000 contracts of 465 calls, so millions of dollars being spent. You know, you don't know exactly, but you're hoping that they are mitigating their risk by selling out of the money a call. And depending on how much you want to reduce your premium, right? If you want to reduce by 10%, then you're selling 585 call. If you want to reduce it by $33, then you sell for 85 call, right? So your, your probability of success goes up, right? As you sell in more premium and you lower in the strikes, your probability of success is increasing, right? But the return on capital is all, your maximum profit and return on capital is also decreasing. That is a very important concept of option trading in general and debit spreads also is that either probability of success goes up because you're reducing, reducing your cost basis and you know, you're getting more and more premium out of that short call or your return on capital uh, uh, goes up. So they're going in reversal, right? Maximum profit goes down, probability of success goes up. And that's just how probabilities work in the options world. So again, I wanted to uh, reach out to the uh, great tools. We have a bar chart, right? And here I'm looking at the price history and the open interest. And I can see that somebody right before the earnings, no, not right before, it's March 24th, so a month ago, bought 46,000 contracts of calls, right? Because he or she or an institution was extremely bullish. And you can see what the usual volume is. And this is very, you know, very large position, very large position at that strike price. And that's the, every time you see that, you want to be careful. You want to be careful selling premium, right? In this example, the best strategy is to, to be long volatility. And debit call spread is a perfect example of that. Debit put spread is the same. And you can see after the earnings stock did sell off and actually pierced through 465 level, right? And now trading at 420. There's a lot of positioning at 420 and 430, not as much as in 465, but there are some put buying. So we'll see if the 420, 430 level will actually hold tomorrow. We were as low as 400 right now. Uh, at Yellow Tunnel, we actually use these tools. We use bar chart tools to come up with the strategies and we send SMS messages and um, you can see all of our orders and positions. And this is an example of where I traded Tesla, right? Today, same thing. There was a large positioning and 170, 175 calls. And for that reason, I did buy 170, 175 call stock did, Tesla was up as much as 15%, but it did pull back at the end. Uh, so this is an example of a debit call spread that we do on Yellow Tunnel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this information. Uh, if you need more information or look for similar trade setups or how I use bar chart analytics, uh, please visit yellowtunnel.com. And you can also follow us on uh, social media, youtube.com forward slash at Yellow Tunnel or twitter.com forward slash tunnel underscore yellow. You can always get a free account at bar chart uh, to try some of the tools that I've showed you. And um, I hope to see you soon. I'm gonna provide more content on other strategies where you can be market neutral or directional trades. Thank you very much and have a great day.